it's Erin from Inspiration. I have all of the Bella and Harry books laid out on the floor. I'm really excited to get these in the mail. There are a ton of them and I know that my kids are just going to eat them up. So I have opened the Rome book just to kind of show you the rich illustrations and then all of the text that's in the book so that the kids can really learn about the customs, the history, you know, the local geography about the place that they're reading about. So now I want to show you just something else that I've done with augmented reality to um, the cover of one of the books. So this is the um, Egypt book where Bella and Harry go in their adventures and they learn all about Egypt and what there is to offer. So the dogs are super cute, the illustrations are gorgeous, and there's a lot of rich learning that happens in the book. There's incorporation of dialogue, um, character name, there's action, the setting is just really, really rich. So the um, characters are wonderful. And now I wanna show you something that I did um, with augmented reality. So Riley, if you'll help me out, Sweet Pea, just grab the iPad and then, you know what, before you start it, so this is an idea so that if kids are in a center, they can plug in their little headphones and listen to um, a video that I've augmented over the book. Um, or if they are working in partnerships or just taking a book for choice read, they can um, kind of experience augmented reality. So I would put like a little sticker on the cover of this book, like a little star, so that the children would know that something about the cover of this book is augmented reality. So if you grab your device, Riley, and then she's going to open up Erasma, and as soon as she does that, the video will start playing. The Nile River. More than 5,000 years ago, its waters gave birth to one of the greatest civilizations ever to arise in the history of the world. So, and you can see, it's just, I mean, the iPad is just hovering over the book and the video automatically starts playing. It's a video I found uh, through National Geographic Kids and then I just downloaded it on YouTube and um, put it to keep vid and then uploaded it through my Erasmus Studio channel. So there are a couple steps involved, but I mean, you can see how neat it is. The, um, the colors and the video quality is just really, really rich. And the video itself is, I believe, about three minutes long. So it's just something extra to enhance and extend the kids' learning as they're reading. And then soon the kids can actually create their own videos to demonstrate their learning, which is the process where I'm getting towards. But this would serve like as a model um, in the beginning of the year. And then towards the middle and end of the year, the kids would be creating their own content to do as overlays on the books to really demonstrate their understanding of the material, whether it's a picture book or a map on the wall or whatever it is, or even something that they colored and created themselves, they can augment and add a video overlay to as well. So have fun trying out Erasma, Augmented Reality, and then all of the Bella and Harry books. There are a ton of them and they're so amazing.